TK, thanks. The King of Cool may have moved on to the big time after his childhood in Steubenville, but the city that raised him never forgot him. This week's Dean Martin Festival will remind us that he not only made records, he broke them at the box office. 7 News reporter Colin Roos tells us about his homecoming through film. The marquee is up again at the Grand Theater in Steubenville, where a member of the Rat Pack will once again be center of stage and screen. He captivated TV audiences and shared several cigars with Frank Sinatra, and the city is ready to celebrate what would be his 106th birthday. The Dean Martin Festival will show the star the way 1950s and 60s audiences saw him, not just with a mic in his hand, but on a movie set as well. Dean Martin, I think, is often thought of as a singer prim primarily, but uh, I don't think people realize just how many movies he was in and what a remarkable uh, Hollywood career he had. The festival will finish with a showing of his 1959 hit Rio Bravo this Saturday at 8 o'clock, a co-starring role with John Wayne. It will be screened at the Grand Theater, where at 6, the film High Noon will also be shown, a movie Wayne considered so anti-American he made Rio Bravo as a response. Organizer John Cooner is the owner of Bookmarks Downtown and wanted to show how bright Martin's Hollywood star shined. And I realized that if the Dean Martin Festival is going to still be here, people need to see these movies and get excited and have a reason to be excited about Dean Martin. It won't just be a revival of his memory either. It will also be one for the theater itself. The 1920s cinema is in a multi-year process of rebuilding its grand vaudeville stage. It has an official restoration project group who hopes that it will show much more than movies. It will be, we can have live performance, we can have music, we can show movies, you know, we can have comedy shows, we can have the local people put on their own events. The years of volunteer work will eventually pay off in both a classic style theater plus a 700 person upstairs ballroom. Dressel says it's the last of five movie venues still standing in Steubenville and it's time to bring a touch of that golden age grandeur back. So it's really trying to accomplish something that will bring people back down in thousands as opposed to tens and twenties. If you'd like to check out Dino on screen once again, it will be high noon at 6 o'clock, followed by Rio Bravo at 8. Reporting in Steubenville, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. The Grand also has a century-old organ originally used to accompany silent movies. The massive instrument is currently in its final stages of restoration. Check this out.